there are stories and there are stories some stories they heal something within you they are like a hug from the universe so this story is very close to my heart and it quite literally changed how i saw the world i'll be linking another video in the description which is narration of the same story that i'm about to tell you but in a much better way with amazing animations but in case you want to hear the story from me and i don't know just like the sound of my voice then you can just stick right here because i am going to narrate the entire story so here it goes you were on your way home when you died it was a car accident nothing particularly remarkable but fatal nonetheless You left behind a wife and two children. It was a painless death. The EMTs tried their best to save you, but to no avail. Your body was so utterly shattered. You were better off, trust me. And that's when you met me. What? What happened? You asked. Where am I? You died, I said matter-of-factly. No point in mincing words. There was there was a truck and it was skidding. Yep, I said. I I died. Yep, but don't feel bad about it. Everyone dies. You looked around. There was nothing nice. Just you and me. What is this place? You asked. Is this the afterlife? More or less, I said. Are you God? You asked. Yep, I replied. I'm God. My kids, my wife. What about them? Will they be all right? That's what I like to see. You just died, and your main concern is for your family. That's good stuff, right there. You looked at me with fascination. To you, I didn't look like God. I just look like some man or maybe a woman some vague authority figure maybe more of a grammar school teacher than the almighty Don't worry they'll be fine your kids will remember you as perfect in every way They didn't have time to grow contempt for you Your wife will cry on the outside but will be secretly relieved To be fair, your marriage was falling apart. If it's any consolation, she'll feel very guilty for feeling relieved. Oh. So, what happens now? Do I go to heaven or hell or something? Neither. You'll be reincarnated. Ah. So, the Hindus were right. All religions are right in their own way. Walk with me. You followed along as we strode through the void. Where are we going? Nowhere in particular. It's just nice to walk while we talk. So, what's the point then? When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, right? A baby. So, all my experiences and everything I did in this life won't matter. Not so. You have within you all the knowledge and experiences of all your past lives. You just don't remember them right now. I stopped walking and took you by the shoulders. Your soul is more magnificent, beautiful and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. A human mind can only contain a tiny fraction of what you are. You are just sticking your finger in a glass of water to see if it's hot or cold. You put a tiny part of yourself into the vessel and then you bring it back out. You have gained all the experiences it had. You have been a human for the last 48 years, so you haven't stretched out yet and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. If we hung out here for long enough, you'd start remembering everything, but there's no point of doing that in between each life. How many times have I been reincarnated then? Oh lots lots and lots as in to lots of different lives i said this time around you will be a chinese peasant girl in 540 ad wait what you're sending me back in time well i guess technically time as you know it only exists in your universe 
things are different where i come from where you come from oh sure i come from somewhere somewhere else and there are others like me i know you'll want to know what it's like here but honestly you wouldn't understand oh you said a little let down but wait if i get reincarnated to other places and time i could have interacted with myself at some point sure happens all the time and with both lives only aware of their own life span you don't even know it's happening so what's the point of it all seriously are you asking me the meaning of life isn't that a little stereotypical well it's a reasonable question i look you in the eye the meaning of life the reason i made this whole universe is for you to mature you mean mankind you want us to mature no just you i made this whole universe for you with each new life you grow and mature and become a larger and greater intellect just me what about everyone else there is no one else in this universe is just you and me you stare blankly at me but all the people on earth all you different incarnations of you wait i'm everyone now you're getting it i said with a congratulatory slap on the back i am every human being who ever lived or who will ever live yes i'm abraham lincoln and your john wilkes booth too i'm hitler you said appalled and you're the millions he killed i'm jesus and everyone who followed him you fell silent every time you victimize someone you were victimizing yourself every act of kindness you have done you have done to yourself every happy and sad moment ever experienced by any human was or will be experienced by you you thought for a long time why you asked why do all this because some day you will become like me because that's what you are you are one of my kind you're my child wow you said incredulous you mean i'm god no not yet you are a fetus you're still growing once you have lived every human life throughout all time you will have grown enough to be born so the whole universe it's a uh, an egg now it's time for you to move on to your next life and i sent you on your way i always tear up a little bit every time i read this story because it is written so well and so beautifully it is pictured really beautifully if you have watched the animations the animations just add on to it in such a beautiful way um it's so wholesome yet it has a really strong and powerful message and whoever is reading it in whatever state they are in this is one story that will leave you hopeful by the end of it it will leave you with a warm gooey feeling in your um in the middle of your chest it will leave you with a feeling that oh you're not alone in this you know um no matter what you are not alone and all of us are one um so anything that can make a person not feel alone is i mean what else do you really need to call it an amazing story but that's not the only reason that i like this story uh, of course i don't believe the story to be true like i don't think that this is what actually happens after death but then i do believe that there is a lot of metaphorical truth to the story and the best part is that there are multiple ways of interpreting it so every single person can take something different from the story anything that you do to anybody else good or bad you're doing it to yourself there are so many ways to interpret this one thing this one phenomena uh one way of doing it for example could be by thinking of karma uh not karma of the past life but karma of your present life itself like what goes around comes around if you're doing something good or doing something bad to someone else 
in your same life you will ultimately get the same thing it's the circle of life like what goes around comes around like as cliche as these sayings are i really do believe this to be true that ultimately whatever you put out there you will receive that in fact you may receive that five folds or even 10 folds and it has happened in front of my eyes for example person a hurts person b person b us hurt ke chalte ya fir because of the past trauma they hurt person c who hurts person d and then person d somehow weirdly ends up hurting person a so this is a phenomenon which is usually difficult to observe because it happens over a long time over years but i have seen this happen in front of me it's again as cliche as it is it is the circle of life and what goes around does come around so that is one way of looking at it the second way of looking at this is uh, when you do something good to yourself you are actually doing something good for yourself because anything good that you do it will leave a mark on your conscience it will leave a mark on your soul it will leave um a positive impact on your soul and whatever bad you are doing for someone else so whatever bad you do to someone else that is also going to leave a bad mark on your soul as well more than anything um this story it just makes me realize that ultimately all of us all of us human beings we are in this all together we are in the same boat i am pretty sure that all of us are practically living the same lives like as i grow older the more i start to realize that i have not really had a single unique experience like whatever i've experienced till date in my life whether it be the positives the negatives the good things the bad things the fights the funny events my favorite things my likes dislikes my pet peeves every single thing i'm pretty sure i'm sharing it with multiple people not just across the world but across time as well you know there's this quote that goes something like um i thought i was in this all alone but then i opened a book and i realized that someone hundreds maybe even thousands of years ago went through the exact same thing and documented it for you and sometimes just feeling that whatever you're going through someone else is also going through that or someone else has already gone through that in the past it just makes you feel a little better in some way there is another fun story that kind of goes well with the previous one um there is a show a episodic show on netflix called love death and robots it's one of my favorite shows in the world every episode is a different story so um there's this episode called ice age and as far as i know people are not the biggest fan of this episode but i love it so in ice age we have this new couple who is moving into um a home a apartment complex whatever and there is a refrigerator which is just really old so they plug it in and when they open the refrigerator there is a mini civilization living inside their fridge and that civilization is currently in their ice age stage then they shut the fridge and they open it after some time only to realize that time moves really really fast inside this freezer so in the few minutes that it has been the humans they have evolved so as time goes on in that one single day humanity keeps evolving into the fridge and ultimately there comes a time where the humanity inside the fridge is at the same level of the progression of humanity that we are at after that um something really scary happens there are a lot of wars nuclear wars and the people the main couple they think that humanity will not be able to survive this so they are sad and heartbroken they shut the fridge i think they open the fridge next morning only to see that humanity has survived and they are making even more progress and getting even more technologically advanced than ever before and towards the end of it the entire civilization entire humanity inside the fridge it collapses into this bright glowing orb which then just bursts and it gets out of the fridge it surrounds the couple and um that was the end of it but then you see that inside the fridge another civilization is starting so it's all cyclical in nature but then another thing i just wanted to point out here is that um the first story it kind of talks about how we are all the same in spirit like it is the same soul or the same essence that is traveling through all the bodies so even that story has a message where um all of us all of humanity is actually just one being and in the story also in the end 
all of us or rather the entire civilization inside the fridge it collapses into just one entity so what i'm getting at is that if you think about the world and the way we have progressed first we were all separated on different continents different countries then we um, started traveling we started finding each other so the physical distance started decreasing after that we um, made a lot of technological advancements so we have phone we have internet um, and over time we are just getting closer and closer to each other mentally speaking so first we have reduced the physical distance next we have reduced the mental distance so over time i feel that we are going to get even more physically closer and we are going to get even more mentally closer and ultimately it may happen this is a possibility i haven't really given it a lot of thought but um i do believe that ultimately all of us like all of our consciousness is just going to merge into one like all of us all of humanity is going to be one being so this may take like hundreds of thousands of years of evolution but it is a interesting premise to think about and i do think that this may happen this is one of the possibilities uh, because that is how the history of the world has been we are just getting closer and closer and closer so we physically closer mentally closer soon we will be emotionally close and spiritually close as well the universe is expanding right but all of us are getting closer over time so i don't know but yeah that's how i connected um the second story to the first one and both of them they hold a special place in my heart but the first one is uh it truly was life changing for me the first time i read it there are so many things that i've been able to overcome simply because of this one story like for example i don't feel jealousy anymore i really don't like there may be a twinge of it which is just your limbic system in play but then not really like i feel ki oh i think i'll live that life in another lifetime even though i know that you know that's not the case um it's more like saying to myself ki you know what of experiences that person is having i know that i'm going to have the same experiences in some regard the intensity of it may be different the frequency of it may be different um the timeline of it may be different but all of us we are basically living the same lives same problems same um issues same happinesses same whatever so why not just support each other instead of um thinking of all of us as you versus me so that's all for this video it was a little different from uh, the other videos but then i feel that the point of my youtube channel is sharing new perspectives with you guys especially for the last few videos i've been trying something else which is um trying to make content which will help um general people or maybe give someone a different perspective if you're suffering through something if you're suffering through overthinking or this or that or loneliness so that's my plan moving on with the channel and the purpose of this channel as i said even though this video was a little different the purpose of this channel is to share new perspectives with you is to share some things with you that may hopefully make you feel a little bit better about life and your situation and um, humanity in general so this story had a big impact on me and i wanted to keep it as simple as possible without you know adding another narrative to it or making the story even more complicated unnecessarily so i just thought i'll just narrate the story and give my uh, thoughts on it so that's all for this video i'll see you guys next week